arithmetic inch plate works just the way you would expect. So I can say 1 plus 2, and that gives me 3. I could leave out the space between them, and that's fine. Um, I could also add some parentheses if I want. Um, parenthesize 1 plus 2 is the same, and uh, I could add some extra parentheses around 2. Uh, that's all the same. So parentheses are normally used for grouping things, but when we call functions, we use parentheses to put the arguments after the function name, just like you're used to again. So that's calling the max function, which returns the larger of two numbers. And of course, I can mix these things. Uh, 1 plus max for 5 gives me 6. Or I can say 1 plus 2 times 3. Uh, and Splate will use the usual rules where the uh, multiplication happens first. One thing you cannot do is put just two numbers next to each other because right, that's two expressions sitting next to each other. Uh, that's no good. Another thing you can't do is put uh, 1 plus on one line and then 2 on the next line. That's because Splate is a white space sensitive language, and we'll talk about that more later. If for some reason you needed to use another line for the second argument, what you have to do is go to that next line and indent and start it with the operator instead of having the operator on the previous line. Uh, and then that will be allowed. In addition to things like plus and times, we have comparisons like greater than or less than or equal to. Or if we want to compare two uh, things, we use double equal sign. And double equal sign actually works not just on numbers, but it can work on things like strings too. Okay, so apple is not equal to banana, but apple is equal to apple. The rule for double equals though is the, the type has to be the same for both things. So when we say one equal apple, then Splite will reject that because it knows that strings can never be usefully compared to integers. Uh, 